Yo, welcome to Cinture, what's going out? And today we have a new parcel all the way from China. So as you can see from the thumbnail, it is one of the airborne troopers. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open this guy up. So this actually come out about last week. These guys are pretty fast on their shipping now. So I'm kind of glad that they kind of shipped to the UK once again. So there's a lot of people out there that still think they don't, but they do. Um, comes in a nice little parcel box, same as usual and um, open this one up. So I've only purchased one this time. There is two versions of this guy out there. This is the more traditional airborne trooper um, that has the sort of like, this sort of sandy colored Kamara. Um, the other one's called the Sniper and he's got a few extra sort of markings on his helmet, uh, but the rest of the body looks okay. But these ones are a little bit more expensive than normal they are a little bit more there especially when you add the tax as well you'll be looking at sort of like the price of an official figure unfortunately however this is the only way you're going to get a decent airborne trooper unless you're not paying the odds for a custom so we're just going to get this guy out and have a closer look so yeah they come on these uh traditional kind of polythene bags the same as we always get so let's just open this one up and he's got a few extra accessories as well so it's not just the blasters he actually comes with a like a heavy sort of utility bag as well and um, you've got all these extra bits as well which we'll take a look at when we go for the review but yeah he's looking pretty cool he's got the same head as the other one unfortunately so uh yeah it's a little bit too high there for the helmet but um yeah he's looking really really nice so i'm gonna go away take some pictures get a closer look come back do another little review with him and uh, doing some comparisons with some of the other storm trooper, uh, clone troopers that we have. So we see you in a moment. So welcome back. I've been away. We're taking some pictures. And what can I say about this figure? Well. AliExpress over the guys over in China have done a fantastic job once again and beaten Hasbro to the pulse and done it in such a spectacular fashion as well. It looks really, really good. No sort of like misprints or even the accessories are all there. It's not halfly done. Maybe there are a few extra paint apps wouldn't be a miss as in more weathering and stuff like that. But as a clean airborne trooper, this guy is fantastic. So let's get into the actual review itself. So first of all, he comes with a few accessories. The first accessory we can always look at is just a standard blaster here, which is the DC carbine, which we always know and love. Exactly the same as we always get and done in the black gloss plastic. The other one that he comes with is the DC rifle on the side here and um, just bring some light through. You can see it all good in the good details once again. Unfortunately, as I've always said, that these guys are slightly just a bit smaller than a, an official figure, so his hand doesn't fit up to the, uh, the trigger. It can do, but once you start moving it around, it just pops straight out. So I would say maybe cut out a little bit of that trigger there on that gun to get a more satisfying fit. But yeah, then you can take that one off. And the other accessory he comes with is, I would say his removable helmet, but inside is just an unpainted helm or head. And then you've got his little bag as well. But um, yeah, so first of all, we we'll just take off this one. You can see that head inside there. It's that downscaled sort of like um, hot toys kind of look on there. Um, on that sort of head. It is a pretty cool head, but unfortunately it's just not the Black Series one I kind of like. And the helmet kind of fits a little bit too high, unfortunately, on this guy. But as we learned before, you can actually turn this one around and it's a little bit of a better fit once that head is turned right around there. So if you're not too fussed about the head, turn it around. You could even glue that in place as well. And it's nice and lower down on his neck part as well. The other accessory is his bag. And um, yeah, looking pretty cool. Really nice wrinkles in there. It's not just a standard flat bag. Look at that, all that extra details there. And you've got to actually remind yourself that this is only a bootleg. And it is worth that money when you think about it. You've got the extra sort of like grenades on here, which is done in a sort of like a more metallic silver on there. Uh, it's a little bit sticky and I'm not too sure whether, because this has been on the porch in the sun for a little while um, while I was at work, but um, yeah. It's still okay, and uh, hopefully that tackiness will go. Nothing like a, a sealer won't overseal. But um, yeah, there's no texture to the actual bag. It is kind of flat in that pole, as long as you sort of like compare it to this on this side as well. But look at the details they've added to that as well. 
fantastic job but anyway before we get into that we can actually go for this guy's uh, articulation so head wise left right down up all that kind of lower neck movement and the upper neck movement in there and you've got a little bit of swagger this is on the older body um so there's no upper sort of like swivel up on this part here but we have got rotation around arms can come up this far is a little bit more hindered uh, because of that sort of pulge on there but as you can see it still lifts up and you've got the butterfly joint in there which is nice as well rotation at the elbow there it's on a single elbow joint as well rotation at the wrist and it's also on the hinge down at the do uh, diaphragm here we've got left and right it is a little bit hindered by this this isn't glued in place but once you start turning him it kind of looks a little bit odd there but there's no other really well like way of doing it unless they do glue it in place and then you are uh, got less articulation there to be honest i um, coming down here anyway you've got the rocker in the back and then coming down to legs again a little bit hindered by this sort of like a printed pole uh, kamar because um, it's um, a harder plastic but it, it still gives a little bit so you can actually push it out to this far and you've got forward upper fire rotation there rotation at the knee a double knee joint as well and then you've got the rocket and the pivot at the ankle so all in all good articulation just a shame they aren't start using that new clone body and they've only used it on the shinies so far but we don't know how long these guys are in production for but I guess the others have been on production prior because they're out but then they didn't need any paint applications so who knows who knows how it works but yeah looking at the helmet look how fantastic that is we've got the nice gloss inside there we've got the orange stripe of the 212 and around on this side with the silvers inside and the black as well so you've got that silver nose part in there even black on the insides where it actually goes inwards as well with no color bleed or anything on there looking really neat around on the back we've got a little bit of silver as well in that grill looking pretty cool no other paintwork on the back here but you can see that extra brown on that strap coming around to the front um, but there's no extra paint applications on here but you can see the detailing is all in there even that extra hole it's not even sort of like one big blob they've actually put a hole in there so it actually looks like a strap on the inside and same down here but we actually got a bit of silver on this strap here nice orange part on the black as well that's all painted uh, complete orange around on here and then coming down to that arm but on the inside here we've got the little orange parts upside down tees on here an extra little line down the bottom and on these parts the lines on his legs and the correct knee pattern as well nothing on his feet and then we've got a couple more stripes on this side and up here with extra accessories that we haven't had before in the bootlegs which is this kind of like ammo pouch that goes across the top here and then sometimes these guys used to have it on this side i think i've got a couple that used to have these um but yeah so we've got those as well on that side and um yeah looking fantastic really cool really nice to get these in six inch finally and even though it's not hasbro doing it it is a uh, a bootleg kind of people but until hasbro actually release it and who knows what it would look like when it comes out maybe they will have a proper tomorrow head inside that's painted as they seem that's the way forward now with the new articulation but to be honest without that articulation but with all these extra accessories and the way that they are painted it's looking really really nice so we can just pop him in the middle for now and then what we can do is just bring a couple more of the 2012 uh, 2012 212 battalion in line like so i have got cody but his legs are too gummy and i can't trust him standing there while i talk but um, yeah looking pretty cool would i highly recommend yes and i kind of wish that i actually purchased the other one now the other one is pretty much exactly the same he's got a different gun and then he's got like a extra bit of orange around on the helmet as well so yeah i kind of wish i picked him up at least i had two airborns that are not the same but are different if that makes sense so thank you so much for joining this one don't forget you can comment down below you can subscribe you can ding the bell you can follow me on instagram and until next time take care and i'll see you soon bye